sixth National Conference on Nuclear Energy held in New Delhi. Sixth edition of National Conference on Nuclear Energy held in New Delhi. The theme of this edition was Nuclear Energy, a clean energy option. It was organized by Associated Chambers of Commerce and Industry of India, ASICOM, one of the apex trade associations of India. Center allocates Rs 5,000 crore for development of Ayash. The government has allocated Rs 5,000 crore for the growth of Department of Ayash and launched an independent national Ayash mission aimed at capacity building for the sector. For creating awareness about Ayurveda, the ministry is considering to observe Ayurveda Day. Independent National Ayash Mission is launched aiming capacity building for the sector. The mission will ensure creation of a center of excellence for Ayurveda, Yoga, Anani, Siddha and Homeopathy independently. India to assume presidency of the 68th World Health Assembly. Minister of Health and Family Welfare, Jagat Prakash Nadda will preside over the 68th session of the World Health Assembly, WHA, at Geneva as India assumes the presidency of the WHA, the high decision-making body of the World Health Organization, after a gap of 19 years. The Union Minister is leading a high-level Indian delegation to the WHA, to be held in Geneva from May the 18th to the 27th, 2015. Google help for NGOs working on child safety. Google India has announced support for three non-governmental agencies from India working on child safety. The three organizations are Childline India Foundation, Backpan Bacho and Olin, and the Chennai-based Tula, Center for the Healing and Prevention of Child Sexual Abuse. Childline provides a toll-free helpline service, 1098, for children in distress. First launched in 1996, Backpan Bacho and Dolan sets itself a mission to protect and rescue children from slavery, trafficking and forced labor. Draupadi Murmu sworn in as first woman governor of Jharkhand. Draupadi Murmu was sworn in as the first woman governor of Jharkhand. Murmu succeeds Sihid Ahmed, who will take over as Manipur governor. A two-time BJP MLA from Odisha. She was a minister in the Naveen Petnaik cabinet when the Baiju Janata Dal ruled the state with the support of Bharatiya Janata Party. Indian American Harkat Singh Saini won prestigious police award in Texas. Harkat Singh Saini, an Indian American policeman in third week of May 2015 won the prestigious top civilian supervisor of the year. Saini who hails from Hoshiapur district of Punjab received his award from Houston Mayor Anas Parker and Police Chief Charles A. McClelland. INS Kavarati launched Indian Navy's latest anti-submarine warfare class stealth corvette. The INS Kavarati was launched in line with a series of recent developments in India's defence preparedness. Kavarati is the last of the four anti-submarine warfare class stealth corvettes being built for India under Project 28. The corvette, with a displacement of 3,300 tonnes, has a length of 109.1 metres and measures 13.7 metre at beam. It was designed by the Directorate of Naval Design and built by Gardiner Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers. INS Kamata, the first ship under this project, was commissioned by the Navy last year. CAD Matt and Kilton are scheduled for delivery between 2015 to 2017. Hungarian author Laszlo Krasznahakai wins Man Booker Prize. Hungarian writer Laszlo Krasznahakai won Britain's Man Booker International Prize for career achievement. Best known in Germany and Hungary, Krasznahakai is the author of Satan Tango, which was later made into a film, The Melancholy of Resistance and Say I Obo There Below. The Man Booker International Prize, worth £60,000 is awarded for an achievement in fiction on the world stage. It is presented once every two years to a living author for a body of work published either originally in English or available in translation in the English language. SPI partners with PayPal, the country's largest bank announced a partnership with digital payments firm, PayPal so that the customers of State Bank of India, SPI, 
can now use their debit cards on PayPal for buying products from overseas websites. The partnership will also allow SPI's micro, small and medium enterprise, MSME, customers to use PayPal's secure payment solutions. SPI has also announced a partnership with e-commerce firm, Amazon.com, in India. Infosys is first Indian company to join our E100 Global Renewable Energy Campaign. The Climate Group announced that Infosys, one of India's largest information technology corporations has become the first Indian company to join our E100, a global platform for major companies committed to 100% renewable power. As part of its commitment to RE100, InfoSea seems to become carbon neutral by 2018. Obama names Yale professor to key administration post. Akilama, an Indian American professor at Yale University, was nominated by President Barack Obama to the National Council on the Humanities, a key administration post. Akil Reed Amar is the Sterling Professor of Law and Political Science at Yale, a position he has held since 2008 where he teaches constitutional law. Bank of India ties up with MasterCard to launch three cards. State-run lender Bank of India tied up with MasterCard to launch three new cards and also two new banking solutions for its card holders. The bank launched Business Debit MasterCard, Platinum Credit MasterCard and International Travel MasterCard to improve customers' payment experiences. It will also offer two banking solutions in control for spend management and MasterCard rewards program for its customers. UN Observed International Day for Biological Diversity The United Nations, UN, observed the International Day for Biological Diversity, IBD. On the 22nd of May 2015, the theme for the year 2015 is Biodiversity for Sustainable Development. This year theme highlights the relevance of biodiversity in achieving the goal of sustainable development. It also highlights the importance of efforts made to establish a set of Sustainable Development Goals SDGs, as part of the UN Post-2015 Development Agenda. 2015 to 2030. The selection of the theme also underlines the adoption of the Gangwon Declaration at the 12th meeting of the Conference of the Parties to the Convention on Biological Diversity, CBD, in South Korea in 2014.